So I just found out that Superman is about to change in a big way. Are you on board? Hey all my women's out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, I am your host Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy and I'm curious guys if you're going to buy this book when it comes out because if it wasn't for this particular writer, there would be no way I would ever pick up this book anytime soon because of what Brian Michael Bendis did to the character and I had no interest in the character as of right now, but... We have Tom Taylor attached to this book, and now it's piquing my interest once again. And even though it doesn't have to do with Clark, it has to do with his son, John. And this is Superman, Son of Kal-El, issue one. That's right. So no longer are we going to have the Superman title anymore. It's kind of being rebooted, relaunched with a new name. But the only difference is it's called Son of Kal-El. And John is the one that's going to be taking you know, his father's place, right? He's going to be carrying on the mantle of protecting Earth, right? So that makes it quite interesting. And Action Comics is still going to be going on, but Clark is dealing with things elsewhere, okay? So it makes sense now that you have a John book and then you have a Clark book. And I think this book might actually sell better than Action Comics because... Tom Taylor is a wonderful writer. If you, re if you read Injustice, a wonderful series that he created. It was this alternate universe, that, and people love that story, right? Um, Tom Taylor, anything that he did, most of the stuff that he did in Marvel, besides, I think, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and X-Men, that uh, X-Men Red book was not so great, but he did, like, Superior Iron Man, um, he always brings so much character emotion. He did Deceased for DC. He's currently doing Nightwing. And if you read his books, you look at the emotion that he brings out to the characters and it makes the reader really care for them. He makes you get attached to these characters. So if something happens to them, you're like, oh man. And he did that really well in Deceased. So if there's a, a reason why you should jump on, that, on this book, it's because of Tom Taylor. Now... Why I think he might make a better uh, John writer or why he might write John better than Clark is because he wrote John in actual Deceased and I think he wrote him very well. Uh, he made him very selfless. He was very much, you know, like his father, um, but very strong at the same time. And what he did in the DC's comic was very honorable and something that a Superman character would do. So I think that he's going to do John some justice here. I, I am really super excited about this comic book. And this is going to get me um, on board once again. So I'm really excited about it. I don't think I'm going to be reading action, but I will read this particular book. Now, when you look at the artist that's attached to this book, this is the artist that did Young Justice. His name is John Timms. Um, I'm going to show you some artwork here that he has done in the past. So, you know, hopefully this artwork might help you make a decision on buying this comic or it might deter you from buying this comic. But I'm telling you, I think that the art, the um, the writing here is going to, going to be uh, really phenomenal. I, I think that you're going to be quite impressed with this and people are going to read a Superman book again. Now, when you look at this comic book also, there's definitely four variants or four covers that come with this book. There's the there's the main cover. There's like a black and white cover here. There's a cover where uh, John is carrying Damien on here as well. Um, so there's some, some nice looking covers on there. So you'll, you'll you know, you have something to choose from, which I think is really good too. And uh, overall, I'm just excited about this book. I'm curious to see the adventures that John has in store, the trials and tribulations that he's going to go through, how he's going to protect his mother when his father is not around. Um, there's a lot of things. And I think we're going to see some emotional trauma just because we did not see John grow up in the comic books. He was real young. And then all of a sudden he became much older once again, right? Now, what Brian Michael Bendis did to Superman was definitely um, 
just did the character a disservice when it came to Superman. So to bring back, to bring Tom Taylor on this series is going to be really good. And uh, man, oh man, I, I just can't wait for this. Now, I'm curious in the comments below, guys, are you jumping back on board with this Superman title, even though it's kind of like a relaunch, it's, it's still Superman, right? Um, and what is your favorite Superman writer of all time? I'm very curious about that as well. Um, the last good writer that I felt that was on Superman uh, was Peter J. Tomasi. I think he did a really great job at putting the pieces back together with the Superman family and getting things back on track after the new 52. I think Peter J. Tomasi for me is one of my favorite Superman writers. I don't go that deep in uh, Superman history. I have read some stuff, but he's one that I can remember. Dan Jurgens and whatnot, but he's a classic. So yeah, when it comes to Tom Taylor, man, I am going to check this one out. And uh, I have good feelings about this one. And Tom Taylor, he is probably going to be one of the best DC writers as of right now. So guys, there you have it. There's the news. Now I want to hear your comments down below on what you think of this big Superman news. And uh, it will enter you in my Road to 10K X-Men giveaway where you can win these fabulous X-Men prizes. I'll do a um, YouTube comment generator. And uh, once I hit 10K and you guys could possibly win. So as always, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell. And until next time, guys, I'll leave you more videos to check out right here. And this is Mike Spider Sawyer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.